saw this move. Oh, everyone knows Walmart is the king when it comes to low, low prices, no matter the cost. But if you haven't already seen Austin's Today video, I've been given a shoot, get, get out of here, I swear. I had the idea first. <laughs> you might not know that over the last few years, they've expanded this paradigm aggressively into PC component sales. But Linus, you might say. Walmart's pre-built gaming PCs were an absolute embarrassment. What makes you think piecing one together out of parts will be any better? Truthfully, I don't. I've just already done all eBay, all Amazon, all Monoprice, all Newegg, all Microcenter, and all Wish PCs. What is left now? Costco! To tell you all about our sponsor, Glasswire. With Glasswire, you can instantly see your current and past network activity, detect malware, and block badly behaving apps on your PC or Android device. Use offer code Linus to get 25% off Glasswire at the link below. And that's the last one. Here it is. All the PC components that Walmart.com had in stock for our gaming PC, starting with the Leapatech Makashi Mark II, a full tower EATX case with addressable RGB and a tempered glass side panel for just $65.99. It even comes with free shipping. Like, damn, Walmart, I don't know what's up with all this bubble stuff inside it. That's super weird. But other than that, it's really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm kind of impressed. It's pretty cool. I guess I should find out what this is before we move on. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, these are the fans that we ordered separately. I would imagine that's just because Walmart arranged sending this stuff to us directly. I don't think they would normally open your case and put fans in it, but... As for cooling, we're rocking a Cooler Master Master Liquid ML120LV2 RGB. It's got a two-year warranty, the RGB is right in the name, and $64.99. No complaints here, except that <clears throat> a case and a cooler do not a PC make. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Okay, inside baseball time. This video concept was conceived over a year ago to take advantage of Walmart's extremely generous affiliate program. But then Walmart actually cut their affiliate rates in response to COVID-19. So we kept delaying it and delaying it, hoping that the rates would go back up. But if anything, the current PC hardware shortages have made it even more difficult to get this video done to the point where almost all of our parts actually came from third party sellers using the walmart.com marketplace which means we encountered some interesting choices and pricing. That's better. All we're missing now is hydration. LTTstore.com. Now we can unwrap our motherboard. We went with an ROG Strix B450F Gaming. At $204.66, it wasn't a great deal considering that the MSRP is $129.99, but Pricing aside, it's a decent mid-tier board, which means solid I.O., even if I wouldn't mind seeing a few more USB 3s, and okay expansion with two M.2s, even though they both run at Gen 3, and this one here actually shares bandwidth with a couple of the SATA ports. The one thing that you might find yourself missing as a general consumer is that there's no wireless connectivity, so if you need to use Wi-Fi, just plan for an add-in card or dongle. For our RAM and CPU, we went with matching 3600s, the Ryzen 5 3600 and 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Xeno at 3600 megahertz. We paid just $209.99 for this little six core, 12 thread powerhouse, which is $10 over MSRP, but all things considered, um, <laughs> I'm chalking it up as a W at this point. As for pricing on the RAM, well, that was a different story. We ended up paying about $40 over the going rate for these dims, but I mean, I don't know, RGB? Moving on, for storage, we're going with this PNY CS2130 M.2 drive. It does not have a sexy name, but actually it graces the B tier, AKA high-end list over on the LTT forum, which by the way, you guys should check out if you haven't seen it. We'll have it linked down below. They do a great job of just kind of sorting through the confusing names and marketing BS and figuring out what you should buy. It comes with a five-year warranty. It's got QLC NAND flash. Does it have a DRAM cache though? Yep, there it is right there, Kingston. And it doesn't break the bank at just $68.83. 
Powering the whole shebang is a Corsair RMX 750 watt power supply, or at least it is now. This cost us about $25 over MSRP, $150.52. But honestly, we consider that pretty good at the moment because as you guys probably remember from the last mining boom, what's hard to get? GPUs and, that's right, power supplies. The power supply we had originally wanted to use for the project was delayed for so long that we just had to wait till we saw something in stock at a reasonable price and then grab it out of our inventory and use it for the build today. I, I don't make the rules, man. I don't even blame Walmart for this. I know I kind of already mentioned it, but can I reiterate how cool this case is? Like, okay, uh, not, not cool uh, exactly. Uh, we'd need a version with uh, a more open front panel for it to actually be cool. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to use this top as an intake, but for the price, hey, look, magnetic filtered intake, actual EATX compatibility. Like, look at this, look at that, see? Motherboard standoff holes way over here, so you could put a giant motherboard in here if you really wanted to. Hard drive cages, 65 bucks. Like, dang, at that price, you could like drill out speed holes in the front of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, the manufacturing tolerances are, whew. I think this case is just trash. Uh, Lipa, who does this? Why is this here? Like, what motherboard uses that hole? This is the standard hole. That's a dangerous one. Kudos to Cooler Master for the painless mounting mechanism for this thing. It's even better than I thought. You just go ahead and screw on these little clippies right here. The thumb nuts can't accidentally come off. They're captive. You can see I've got one of my thermal pads here, so I'm just gonna pop that onto the CPU. There we go. And then you just hook those over the included plastic clips around the CPU socket. Tighten the thumb nuts and just make sure it's high. Okay. As cool as RGB looks, the cable management for it can be a bit of a bear. So we're gonna be using this one to three splitter that Cooler Master includes with their cooler. We're gonna plug that into the traditional 12 volt RGB header on the top of the board right here. Well, we can hook up our 12 volt RGB fan. Okay, leaving us with one extra header for that. Wait, our fan pack. Ah, this should include an addressable RGB controller. Oh God. We dodged a bullet there. I went and got a SATA cable for our modular power supply that'll power the front LEDs as well as the controller for what are going to be the top fans. And it's got three RGB headers. Of course, we've got that uh, extra front panel, but that's okay because the front panel has a pass through. Oh, oh crap. All it cost us was this horrible octopus of cables in the back. You got a good look at the cable man? No, you don't. See you later. <laughs> Which brings us to our graphics card. Again, guys, this build began back in December of 2020. The problem is that our Walmart contact, in addition to the power supply, had some <clears throat> difficulty obtaining a graphics card for us. That's right, the video card shortage has affected everyone. In fact, the original card that we spec'd for this build still hasn't arrived. So we just had to match something that Walmart sells to something in our inventory again. Nevertheless, three months later, here we are, and I'm really glad we had this already because this 5700 XT is available for the absolutely eye-watering price of $1,169.99. Well, the problem is that Walmart, like every single other retailer right now, is scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to find any GPU to buy. And since Walmart is also a marketplace where third parties can sell, scalpers are using them to make a quick buck. Hopefully this blip in supply due to the mining boom and the card shortages is temporary, but I'm not about to get my hopes up. Okay, I still like it because it's still really cheap, but the tolerances on this case are like, oh shoot, obviously not amazing. And these pop-out style covers back here are well, they're a real drag, because once you pop them out, you can't cover them back up again unless you go buy like third-party covers or happen to have a friend who has some extras. Man, can I just take a moment and say how much I appreciate 360 hertz displays? So smooth. Oh, it's good. It's good. We are anywhere from like 170 to as high as 230 FPS. This is running at ultra nightmare. Yes, it's only 1080p, but like, that's great. Oh yeah, and I'm also screen recording at the same time. 
This game is so easy when you like pick up all the health. What? This is the first level, Linus. Well, it gets. I just, okay. I don't mean the whole game is easy. I've I've played other parts of it. I know there's hard parts. Okay. Back in my day, you had to pick up health packs, and there weren't any health packs. Okay. All oh, that motion blur though, I gotta turn that off real quick. That is disgusting. <laughs> Run and gonna ax him in the face. No, not you, I don't wanna fight you. Hello, see you later, bow guy. Ha, that's what you get for having a bow. Kill you first, blah, blah. Oh crap, how do you block in this game? Right click, for real? Okay, all right, David doesn't have my back today. I don't know how to play about this game. Oh, mm, blah, nice. see you later. Oh, I'm gonna carry this guy. <laughs> Either way, the point is, we're not locked at 60 FPS, but with a little bit of tuning to details, this is a fantastic gaming experience. And the whole thing, not super loud. The question though is, what did it cost? The answer is, everything. No, the answer is $2,162.07. To get a sense of how that pricing compares to the current state of the PC hardware market, we built this exact same PC using PC Part Picker, and it appears that even though we ended up paying way too much for our 5700 XT, we were only about $125 more expensive than what we were able to find elsewhere. So if buying a GPU right now wasn't absolutely stupid, our spend for this system would be a little over $1,000, which is pretty darn reasonable for a machine that looks great and can do a lot more than just shred AAA games. So we proved, and Austin helped, I guess. He gets an A on this one, that you can build a gaming PC at Walmart. They just need to figure out how to magically roll back the current supply side shortages, because until they can, it's still gonna be a challenge to get a good deal. Unlike the good deals you can get with Drops Ready to Ship keycaps. They've got a wide selection of full key sets or individual artisanal keys. Popular keycap sets are the Skylight series and MT3 Camillo keycaps. And if you're into something more unique, you can check out the Project Raven keycap. They've got something for every personality and they're compatible with both Cherry MX switches and clones. So find your perfect keycaps with Drop using the link in the video description. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see another one where Walmart actually surprised us in a good way, you can check out the Ryzen laptop video that we're going to have linked down below.